So I've decided to make my document a multimedia text set. And the first thing I want to do is change the background color. I love to make it um, something darker so that students aren't staring at the white page all the time. So I'm going to go to File and Page Setup. And from here I'm going to um, click on Page Color. And I tend to pick um, dark gray, uh, just a habit. And now um, the title, I can change the color of the title um, by highlighting it. I might even change the um, font of it. There we go. And I'm going to change it to something lighter so it shows up. Uh, and I'm kind of ready to add an image, I believe. Now to add an image, I would go to Tools and Explore. This is a new feature. It used to be called Research. And it's uh, just Explore now. It's a lot of the same function. Um, and I will type in what I'm searching for. Oh, European exploration looks like I've already been searching for it. And it will give me the option of the web, images, or drive. And I'm going to select images and then select the image I want. Here it is. I'm going to click on it and drag it over right onto the document. Now it shows up huge and I definitely want to make it smaller. I don't want it to take up my whole page. If I click on the image, a blue um, lines will appear around it. All I have to do is um, hover over the corner of the um, on the blue box and click and drag it into the size I want. It will make it much smaller. But did you see it also um, added this very large link that gives credit to the image? And that's really large. I'd like to make it smaller so it's a little inconspicuous. Um, but I definitely want to leave it on my document. Um, I'm also going to change this around so that um, I can have the, um, the words um, Actually, you'll see what I'm doing in a second. I want the words to fill up this right side. There's a lot of space that's wasted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the image again and click Wrap Text and see what happens. There we go. So it's getting a little bit better. Now I can move the image um, a little easier and get it spaced how I want it to be. Um, I can also click next to the words and move those up as well. Um, I, one last thing I want to do is I want to add a border around this image. So I'm going to again click on it. I'm going to select the line color, which is this pencil above here. And I'm going to do it in the same color as the font. And you can look at it if you want it to be this thick. If you want it to be thicker, again, you have to select it. Select line weight, and you can make it um, even thicker. 